Hello everyone, my name is Alia Mumbita. In this video, I want to show you about Nestle Indonesia Company and their annual report. But before that, we have to know about Nestle Indonesia Company first. Nestle Indonesia was established in 1971, but its product presence dates back on 1873. According to Nestle official website, Nestle Indonesia is a subsidiary of Nestle SA headquartered in Vive, Switzerland. Nestle SA was founded over 150 years old by a German pharmacist named Henry Nestle, a pharmacist who successfully created baby food to help a mother to save her severely ill child who couldn't tolerate breast milk. Currently, Nestle Indonesia operates four distribution centers and collaborates with hundreds of distributors in every province of Indonesia. Nestle Indonesia employs a total of 3,200 people. Nestle is the world's largest food production company, including Nestle Indonesia, which is also one of the companies known for producing high-quality food products. Nestle Indonesia continually strives to build brands that meet consumer needs. Nestle Diversification Product Nestle Indonesia is the one of the global companies whose popularity in Indonesia is nearly perfect. Nestle Indonesia, also known as Nestle, is recognized as a leading company in the fields of nutrition, health, and wellness. Nestle Indonesia produces a wide range of products, including sugar confectionery, chocolate and snacks, coffee, beverage, child and family nutrition, infant complementary foods, breakfast cereals, culinary products, ready-to-drink beverage, and health nutrition. Nestle is known for a wide range of popular products. Here are some of their popular products. Denkau is a well-known brand of powdered milk. Their brand is recognized for its sterilized milk products. Nescafe is a famous for its instant coffee products. Coco Crunch is a popular chocolate cereal. Nestle competitors. There are many competitors of Nestle, but here are some of Nestle competitors. Hershey's. Hershey's is an American food company and one of the largest chocolate manufacturers in the world. Its headquarters are in Hershey, Pennsylvania. The company was started by Milton S. Hershey in the year 1894. Frisian Flag Indonesia. Frisian Flag is a subsidiary of Frisian Land Campina, is a significant competitor in the dairy industry. It produces dairy products such as milk, yogurt, and infant formula similar to Nestle's offerings. Denon is a major competitor in bottled water market in Indonesia, rivaling Nestle's Pure Life and other water brands. Unilever is a multinational consumer good company offering food, beverage, cleaning agent, and personal care product. Ultrajaya Milk Industry is a local competitor in the dairy industry manufacturing milk-based products that compete with Nestle's dairy products. Nestle SWOT Analysis Strength Nestle is a pioneering company as the world's leading producer of infant formula. Nestle is a company that continually seeks self-improvement and one of its efforts is through marketing strategies involving large-scale promotional campaigns. A marketing team ensures product quality, decentralized management control, and a good company reputation and many of its products are globally owned. Next is weakness. First, market saturation is a significant blow to infant formula manufacturers including Nestle. Second, Nestle's promotional strategies often overlook promotional ethics, conflicting with health research on the superiority of breastfeeding over formula. And the last one is high production costs. Next is opportunities. Nestle can leverage its strong reputation as a pioneer in infant formula manufacturing and the world's largest company. Second, maintaining public trust in excellence and quality of its products is crucial. Third, the popularity of health-based products presents an opportunity for Nestle to develop and market such products. Next, providing allergen-free foods such as gluten-free and nut-free option can be a strategy to cater to specific dietary needs and preference. Next, opening a Nestle Cafe outlets in major cities to make Nestle products more accessible to a broader market. Last one is exploring promotional alliance or price collaboration with other companies can help increase Nestle's competitiveness and market presence. Threats 
First, in February 2007, there was significant public outcry and calls for a boycott of Nestle due to the estimated 1.5 million deaths of children in developing countries each year attributed to insufficient breastfeeding. Nestle was alleged to have violated the marketing requirements issued by the World Health Assembly concerning the marketing of infant formula. Second, additionally, there were contamination issues with Nestle's food supplies, particularly involving E. coli. Third, their Toll House Cookie Dove brand was recalled from the market in March 2009 due to E. coli contamination. Fourth, Nestle faces competition from major competitors like Hershey, Danone, Unilever, Vision Flag, and other large companies that sell products similar to Nestle. And the last one is rising raw chocolate ingredient prices and a 50% increase in the cost of pure milk and 2008 cut into Nestle's profit margins. This had an impact on consumers as a Nestle reduced package sizes in a somewhat offered manner but consumers will still paying the same price for reduced after the explanation about the introduction of Nestle Indonesia, types of products, and SWOT analysis, let's take a look at Nestle's annual financial report. This time, I am retrieving Nestle's financial report for the year 2022. Perhaps that's it for my video presentation on the annual report of Nestle Indonesia Company. From this video, we've been able to learn about Nestle as a company, analyze it with a SWOT analysis, and review its annual financial reports. From here, we can conclude that Nestle is a major company in the food and beverage industry. Thank you for watching this video and see you next time.